All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up, guys? Hope you're doing well, and welcome back to another Rome 2 Siege Battle. This is the continuation of the TWL Tournament Season 8, Game 2 between the Gorilla Boys and Wolfpack. Be sure to watch the first game so you know the context of what's going on in the second one. Also, you don't want the uh, first game spoiled for you, because I'm about to spoil it if you haven't seen it. Uh, so in the first game, we saw the, uh, the Gorilla Boys achieve victory on defense earned they earned like what four points or something like that and they got another victory under their belt now the sides have uh, swapped and the gorilla boys are on the attack and wolfgang is on the defense uh this is very important for wolfgang this i'm not gonna say this is do or die but this is certainly it, it, they've got this is a good chance to get some points and try to get back into the tournament so I, I definitely think they're going to try and try to achieve some sort of victory here. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in to the factions and their points and what these two teams are fighting for point wise. Really quick before we do that I just want to say be sure to watch all the other matches that are being covered by other YouTubers. They're all linked down in the video description and there's a link to the discord for this tournament. Uh, it's the official discord where you can follow your favorite teams. You can join future tournaments and uh, yeah all that jazz. So let's go ahead and get this started guys. So we'll start with the gorilla boys who are on attack. They're playing well, they're playing... Hold on. Actually, I have to... Uh, hold on. Oops. Okay, so they're playing as Cimeria, and they're playing as uh, Massilia. So, Cimeria is one of the crappier factions, so they are worth uh, plus three points. And uh, Massilia over here is a better faction because they have a lot of throw spears. Uh, so, they have they have a lot of throwing... That's really what these these factions come down to. Can they throw if they can? then they're really good. Uh, but they're worth negative two. So they kind of went with a kind of lower mixed in with a higher tier. So if they win this battle, it's three for attack, uh, then add three. So that's to a total of six for uh, Cimeria, but then minus two for Massilia, which would be four points total. So a nice chunk of points here. Now, if we quickly look on defense, Wolfgang this is an important match for them. Let's see what they're going with here. So they have Pontus, which is a neutral faction. And then we, they have Pergamon, which is a minus one. So if they, once again, if, uh, once again, they're going for a one point setup here, similar to uh, the same setup when they were on attack, they were going for a one point setup. So they get two points for defending and then minus one because of Pergamon. You do nothing with uh, Pontus because they're worth zero. So, uh, yeah, even though it's one point, guys, if they win here, they'll be the only team in our group to defeat the, the Gorilla Boys. So this is an important match for them. They'll get one point. And really, guys, some of these uh, playoff situations come down to one point. It really does matter. So we'll see how this progresses. So let's finally jump in here. I like how they bring the ladders. They usually never use them, but, you know, it's cool to see them on the battlefield because you never usually do. But Massilia here is leading the way with some throw spears. Uh, it looks like they're going to... I don't know if they're actually going to get on the walls here. Once again, we're seeing a similar strategy. And uh, we're seeing a random torch. There's always that one random torch that ricochets. That'd be hilarious if it like kills the general. Like, ah, oh, like, what the hell? Why did it go so far? It makes no sense, but it's always funny to watch. So they're going to burn down this tower, get rid of it. This is a classic gorillas move here. And they're also getting hit by arrows. I don't know. I feel like that's a waste of fire from the defenders because I don't really think they're going to kill that many to make it worth it. Um, so, yeah, they destroyed the tower. Uh, it looks like Cimeria is ready to push up. They're leading the way with some noble infantry. I'm actually going to be pretty interested to see how they use these factions. Now, keep in mind, this is Gorilla's Bo the Gorilla Boys' last match for the groupings. Next up, they have the, the playoffs. So they're probably selecting factions that they would never think to use in a playoff. Uh, a lot of teams, they save their favorite factions for that playoff situation unless they're really desperate to win in the groupings so they can get to the playoffs. But I'm assuming these two factions they've selected here, they don't really care about. I, I, you know, Cimeria is a, just a crap faction. So it makes sense that they're using them here. Because even if the Gorilla Boys lose, it doesn't matter. They're in, okay? Maybe they want to go for that perfect record, which I can't blame them. 
Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what they do here. Um, and they will. It was, I don't know. I'm having a brain fart here. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what they do. Nice artillery fire coming down to some uh, skirmishers. We got some pick peltis. It's not a huge deal. They lost a couple there. Um, well, they actually lost a decent amount. Wow, that's actually that was a good hit. Um, it's not a huge deal when you lose a couple troops from your skirmish. As long as you have most of them, you're going to be just fine. But yeah, they're really taking their time here. I think they want to use up all the ammo of their artillery, possibly, uh, before they get focusing on this main assault. Now, we are seeing this battle through the perspective of the attackers. So we can't really see what the defenders are doing outside of like the what's revealed to us from the fog of war. We don't know if they have any sort of like ambush troop that's going to come down and support. It does appear that they are doing some scouting here. The Gorilla Boys using using some noble horse. And some uh, hunters. Interesting. I I know what they're going to do here. If there's any form of sc uh, scorpion or any kind of defensive unit, they're going to run up the archers and shoot at their flank. That's a really good play. Really good play here by the gorilla boys. I like that. All right, so now we've got another breach in the walls. I think that's been there. Now the towers are moving. Let's see where they put them. Pontus has sallied out a unit of hillmen. Very interesting. I think they're going to just make it a little bit more... A little bit less inconvenient. Or less convenient. More inconvenient. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Uh, for the attackers. They're going to have to deal with these hillmen. They're not exactly difficult to deal with. But teams like to set up skirmishing units on top of these, um, and these walls. I don't think they should open fire here. Because most of the shots are just going to hit the towers and bounce off. So we'll see what happens here, but I, I do like this combo. It just makes it a little bit more inconvenient for him, which is pretty cool. And I'm curious, are these guys getting hit? No. He's retreating here. I wonder why he's retreating. Because there's nothing really threatening him right now. Uh, maybe he's worried about these archers over here. Because that's what I would do in that situation. Like, if he had set up archers here on the walls, you could run up archers about right here. And then fire onto the flanks, which is a possibility. Let's see, he's moving up one unit of these uh, very awesome Sumerian heavy archers. Let's see what he goes for. He most likely are going to go for the slingers. And look at this. They're not even going to engage over there. They're just, they're just leaving. Still no fighting yet, guys. No engagement. This is probably why this battle is a little bit on the longer side for this settlement compared to, you know, relative to the other battles in this settlement. Uh, this settlement just creates for very intense, very fast-paced battles. And it seems that the Gorilla Boys are taking a little bit slower here. And they're just planning ahead. I like to see it. Uh, they got some archers over here. Uh, some Gaelic, uh, Gaelic hunters looking for an opportunity. And again, they're taking it slow. Let's see, what do we got defending? We got Glacian swords. And up front, we've got some mil militia hoplites. I like this. What they're going to try to do is use the militia hoplites to kind of keep the infantry stuck and then use these reserve here of glacian swords to use their ammo use their javis and then charge in i like how aggressive they're being too with this initial defense they're not letting them in so good on uh wolfgang try to uh you know be a little bit more aggressive in this in this defense i'm just kind of looking around i'm trying to i'm trying to capture every single move that the gorilla boys are doing just so I can learn from <laughs> no, really just to understand their strategy here. I like it. I, I feel like the Wolfgang Wolfgang has really put them in a position that's making them think a little bit. Let's see. Here we go. Now they're going to let loose some arrows. Watch. I bet they run back. They're going to run back. No, they're going to stand their ground. And they're going for some archers back there. But they do disappear in the fog of war. And we might be seeing. There we go. Here we go. We got some light hoplites leading the way. And where? what happened to the... Did I miss it? Where did their militia hoplites go? Oh, they're right here. Okay, sorry. They're like mixed in with the with the uh, Galatian swords. So, kind of missed that. But yeah, see, see what they're doing? That's exactly what they wanted to do right there. Hold them back with one unit. Flank them with uh, archer fire. 
or like Javi fire. And they're going to quickly try to overwhelm these light hoplites. But incoming, we have a lot of skirmishing. The heavy archers, the Gaelic hunters, they are opening fire on that infantry. They are taking advantage of this angle. And they're letting it loose. I think the defenders, they need to answer back. They need to move up some of their own archers and try to silence these guys to protect their infantry. Let's see, now they're going to move up some spears. I think they're going to go through the gap here and either try to silence these guys. I mean, this spear unit's total trash. These step spearmen, not good. Not good at all. They have good, they have decent armor relative to their counterpart, which is the blood axemen that you can bring in Cimeria as the other cheap infantry. So that's why they're kind of favored over the blood axemen because of that extra armor. And now we got some spears over here. Ooh, most of those shots hitting the dirt, but they do land some hits there. Probably enough hits to make it worthwhile. So here comes another volley. Oh, let's not forget about the arrows. And don't mind the rubber banding. The beautiful rubber banding of Rome 2. Where you have soldiers just like... Almost looks like they're teleporting around. Here comes another charge of mercenary Celtic warriors. Once again, that's going to overextend their line and make them open to attack. Let's see if they go for it. Yep. There it is. <laughs> just like that. Uh, he shouldn't have done that. He probably should have kept this unit in a tighter formation. And it looks like they are preparing for a wall assault over on this side. We've got some spears coming up from Pergamon. Oh, some shots being wasted here by the Gorilla Boys. Look at that. A lot of their shots just hitting the wall. And barely getting over. So that's good news for the Wolfgang. It's always good to see the Gorilla Boys make a small mistake there. It's not really a big mistake. And great job here uh, from the Gorilla Boys. Just kind of chipping away at the defenses. Not over committing. And using what their strength are or strength is. Which is the Jabbies. Using that skirmishing capability. Nice. Very nice. I like how he didn't engage over here either. You notice that? He didn't just say, ah, screw it, let's go in. It was just like, nah, I don't really like the situation here. I don't like his infantry hitting, sitting out here. I don't like the archers up here, which are now appearing, which might be able to be shot upon, these eastern slingers. And there we go. There's a good fight right here. A good fight. Um, some artillery coming down too. Oh, getting some great hits. Wow, this unit lost a good chunk of men. And there we go. They're using the ladders. Let's go. Yeah, okay. And by the way, I remember saying let's go. So when I say let's go, I say it kind of ironically. I don't know. Honestly, it, like it started ironically. It's like one of those things like epic. You know, you kind of use it ironically. And then it, now you're just like using it. I just, it's funny because someone left a comment. They're like, Apollo, that's like Twitter. That's like a Twitter saying. It's so cringe. I'm like, yeah, it is cringe. But, you know, let's go. Uh, here comes more uh, towers to the walls. And they are fighting hard over here. I'm curious if they're going to send up more. I don't know if this is some... Because they're going to lose this engagement. They're getting focused down hard. And my gosh, the amount of ammo being used over here. You might want to hold off the fire here. You might want to save that for when they push up in the center. And I'm curious, are they going to push up in the center? Here's more thorough spears. Yeah, they just continue to kind of throw over here. There we go. Oh, yeah. They're committing. They're doing a great job. Doing a great job. All right, Gorilla Boys now letting loose their arrows. There we go. They actually have gained control of this wall a little bit, but they are going to get blasted by Javis. I don't think this unit's going to last much longer. Some arrows are coming down. They're going to take cover and get on the walls. Use this like little protective little lip here of the wall. And also they're going to throw down some hate. Ooh, they're still getting oh, they're still getting evaporated. Wow. 
These archers are just decimating these these units of infantry. The only thing you have to worry about the, with the Gorilla Boys using their ammo so aggressively like that on the infantry is how, how are they going to deal with the archers of the enemy side? Because it looks like these archers are just kind of holding back in reserve right here. Now, a lot of them aren't archers, though. A lot of them are peltis, which, I don't know. It's, I feel like it'd be more scary if they had, they had archers, but... We'll see how that progresses. Over here, we have Cimmerian nobles going in. And, uh, is, is he going to get them into phalanx formation or what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Looks like he is. Uh, no, he's going to leave them out of phalanx formation. He's got some spears getting mixed in. I think, I, oh, notice how they moved them up. Right at the right time, so they absorb some of that ammo. And it kind of protects their more important... They just take the hits, basically. They're, they're cannon fodder for the nobles. Which, honestly, that works. That works. It just works. So nice, nice little engagements going on there. More and more infantry coming out. Pergamon for, forming square here. It's their last little uh, defense on this front. And the Gorilla Boys have just done a great job of coming in here and, uh, you know, soften them up and taking control of this ground. And they're going to continue to pursue the walls, I assume. Let's see if they get up on the ladder. Not that they really need to. They can easily just go up here and flank around. But why not both, you know? Why not go up here and flank around? So the question is, what do what, what does uh, Wolfgang do here? Do they do a bend but don't break strategy? Are they going to fall back a bit more with their defenses? Uh, are they going to try to rely more on their skirmishers as this battle, you know, progresses? Or are they going to continue to try to hold this main defensive position? And it, it kind of looks like they're going to fall back here. They don't have a lot of troops defending these areas. And look at this. Look how patient he's being with this Thorough Spear unit. Interesting. Because I would have tried to, like, really focus them down. But maybe what they're afraid of is getting counterflanked by these guys. And getting hit. I think that's, I think that's it. I think they're afraid of, like, pushing forward too much. And then getting hit by all these jabbies from these reserves. Which might be the case. So they're just kind of focusing on the areas where they kind of have more control in. Oh, by the way, guys. I forgot to mention this in the intro of the video. But at the end of this video, I'm going to show the, uh, the current points that each team has and how many games they've played just so you guys know like where we're at with group c so stay tuned to that at the end of the video after we look at the battle results and here we go here comes more infantry from massilia or miss yeah massilia that's it <laughs> sorry <laughs> always mix them up with uh Misesily. He's looking for an opportunity for a good javy throw, but it looks like instead he's, oh, yeah, he's going to go for these, these reserve lines and try to silence them. And then what is he going to do? He's going to form up with this unit and javy them. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Well done there. And then he's going to charge this one so he doesn't fire, which they don't get a volley off. Very good. And then now they're taking care of this Pontic Throw Spears unit now that they've gained more control of this area. So the Gorilla, the gorilla Boys are just so good at using their infantry and thinking ahead. Really, these siege battles, they're, they're a game of chess, and it's about trying to outpredict what your opponent is doing. And you try to envision future plays. Now back over this way, they've taken care of... We kind of missed it, but they took care of the, um, the Hillman. And now they're going to be able to uh, attack, uh, attack this position here. 
Attack, attack. Here comes some uh, infantry going in. Some Thoros spears closing in. We got uh, some Thorax swords. See, they're getting hit pretty hard. So that's why they decided to just charge in instead of just sitting, sitting there. It's probably a good play. And he's retreating back these throw spears. This is going to be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I saw this coming. They've got uh, some pig peltis that are going to throw from a distance. And they are, they're going to do some damage. They're going to do some heavy damage to these guys. Oh, yeah, they're dropping fast. That's just what happens when you're on the flank. So good job by Wolfgang there using this flank. Doing everything they can everything they can. And they're kind of just falling back here. Look at this. They're reorganizing the lines. Oh man. They're getting chewed up here. This is a good play by Wolfgang. Look at that. I think sometimes you just gotta like bite the bullet and let this unit absorb the ammo and I think that's what he's doing here. He's just like, screw it, I'm gonna charge and these guys are gonna absorb. Absorb, absorb, absorb. They actually do make the front line before breaking but they're gonna break right after. Nice job by Wolfgang, really nice job. Bounce of power is pretty even guys. This is a close game. Can Wolfgang come come out on top? Can they defeat Gorilla Boys? Can they do it? They've reestablished their front line over here. Nice job. Now, there's still a lot of infantry reserves from the attackers. And I still see a lot of infantry from the defenders. This is gr a great match here. A very fantastic match. And they got their spears firing at the archers. Look at that. Well done by Wolfgang. He sends up these uh, thorough spears, basically. They're called... They're, uh, they're basically of the same nature. They're spears that have a lot of throwing capability. And they're just letting loose on these uh, Cimmerian heavy archers. By your command. Orders understood. Now we've got uh, some some noble infantry charging in. Pull back. Trying to silence these spears, the throw spears of Pontus. Look at that. Well done. Look at this. They're chewing them up. Let's check out the other side, though. Let's see what... Oof. They're getting hit hard by these skirmishers. But the question is, is it enough? Are they doing enough damage? I, they're doing a lot of damage. Some Pontic swordsmen holding these guys back. Thorax swordsmen. And now we got more reinforcements coming in. Cimmerian noble infantry coming up. Step Spearman coming up. They're putting up a great fight, guys. Both sides putting up a good fight. Here comes these nobles. They're going to just be tossed in. Try to push the uh, this little engagement into their favor. We're down to the last 11 minutes of this battle. And it's still very even. It's still anyone's game. Here comes the hill. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Here comes that archer fire from, from Wolfgang. They've kind of held back their archers a good amount. And a lot of these archers are fresh. They have a lot of ammo. And now they're going to let loose because Cimeria, they've, they kind of used their archers pretty early. They still have ammo, don't get me wrong. But they did use up a lot of their ammo early on against the enemy infantry. And it looks like they're kind of doing that right now as well. Now the picked Peltis who have 109 kills. They used up all their ammo. They're going to charge in as a melee. Melee infantry. These guys are going to get flanked here pretty soon, aren't they? Here we go. Pretty soon they're going to throw or not. There they go. 
They're going to destroy those Peltas. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Same thing over here. Oh, Pontus is completely exposed. These Thoros Spears are going to let loose, and they're already... Look at that. This other unit back there is already throwing. They're going to hold fire because that unit broke. They're going to charge in here, engage. Here comes more infantry from Pergamon. They've got some spears as well. Back on this side, this is a brutal fight. Kind of the opposite compared to the other front of the siege battle. This is much more like sword and spear, shields, you know, clashing. Where the other side, it's very much close range project projectiles. A lot of skirmishing unfolding here. Now they're sending in some Thorax swordsmen. They are going to try to get behind the defenses. And they certainly can. You can see Pontus is shifting over reserves to try to plug this gap. Because they have to maintain this front. Which they're doing a decent job of... They're doing a, de a decent job. They're doing a decent job of doing... I don't know. I, my brain, man. It's not working today. But when is it? <laughs> when is it? So here comes a advance from the Spears. And uh, they have not open fired yet. So this is Pergamon coming to reinforce with their general. So that tells me they are starting to run out of infantry when the general has been called up. This is starting to look like a dam that is barely holding on. Um, you know, it's barely holding back the water. And pretty soon it might crack. They got to send in reinforcements, which they are some Pontic swordsmen. Now we got some spears chilling back here. Trying to hold back. Let's see if they open fire. They've yet to open fire. Interesting. I guess they're trying to wait for trying to wait for a better opportunity. I don't know. It's gonna be tough, right? Because if you tell them to fire at will, they're just gonna fire at these shields. But still, I mean it's better to use the ammo than not at all. Now they're swapping out infantry. You see this? Swapping out infantry, but archers are now going to fire at their flank. Cimmerian archers, some of the best in the game. Oh, yeah, and they're like, screw it. We're charging back in. <laughs> We're not going to get shot at. Oh, they could shoot at these guys. Their, their flank is exposed. Not their sword side flank, but still, you can get a little bit of their flank fire on that. Back on this side, it's looking pretty close guys i mean there's not a lot of reserves for the gorilla boys if if wolfgang can hold on here oof what a match just a slug fest here a nasty slug fest all right throw spears ready to open fire see no Maybe they're out of ammo, so they're going to go ahead and engage. They're probably going to protect the flank here and stop this. No, they're committing. They're like, screw it. And this this might be the last unit of reserve for the defenders, these spears. Because I see nothing coming to re uh, replace them other than these, I guess you could say these peltas are infantry. All right, Bounce of Power is looking better and better for the attackers as this goes on. But it's still very close. Wolfgang can still squeeze out a victory if they play this right. But it's going to be tough. Going to be tough. Cimmerian heavy archers going in. So now he's charging in his archers. He's just char he's I think he's going for the just overwhelm tactic. Oh, Pontus is charging in the general, but he's charging into spears. I know they, they're archers, but they are equipped with spears. And they didn't really get that good of a charge off. And they're going to start losing men pretty rapidly here. Yeah, they're already down. Well, actually, they only lost a couple. They lost three men so far. Five men. Not that bad considering how deep they were in enemy lines. Now we got the attacking generals coming in. 
some hoplites, some cav. And there's nothing to stop him. Nothing. Got a general trying to counter charge. The Pontic general trying to save his archers, but I don't think it's going to happen. The bounce power is still really close, guys. Still really close. And there's an epic defense from Wolfgang here. An epic fight. Very nice struggle. Very nice. Pontic Royal Cav. Trying to hold him back. Got more Cav charging in. Nice. They're breaking these Eastern Archers. Let's see what they do to try to recover from this. They're constantly falling back. Trying to create some distance. They do have a set of Archers here. They have ammo. They can open fire on the general, which is exactly what they're doing. They might have to send over some infantry, which they are. We got a unit of Pontic Swordsmen trying to stop the bleed here. Maybe even kill a general. That would be huge. That's kind of what they need right now. They need to, like a general killing moment. But let's see if these Pontic Swords have enough in them to kill them. I don't think they do. Maybe accompanied with the archers, they can pull it off. But I don't, I don't think it's going to be enough. The Pontic General's doing a decent job. He's fighting his heart out. He has 74 kills. Uh, but we got the General from Massilia. And he's, uh, he's doing a good job as well. He's probably going to counter this Pontic General. But check this out. We got some spears. And they're going to focus this General down. That's huge. That is huge. Looks like they exhausted... Them. Wow, they're breaking them! Oh my gosh, can Wolfgang pull this off and get a point? Their first point in the tournament. It, it, it may be one point, but damn, it's a point. It's a solid point against the Gorilla Boys. It is a solid point. Bounce of Power, though, is saying otherwise. It is saying otherwise. It looks like the Gorilla Boys might finish this right here, but you never know. It's close enough to where... If you can kill some generals, that balance of power could shift quickly. But I don't think they have enough to kill the general. Maybe for Massilia. Yeah, they're getting they're getting they're getting the angry horde of archers are here charging spear first. And they're doing everything they can with these peltas to keep them alive. They're gonna kite down the enemy, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Pon oh no, get that general going. Oh, that's it, that's it. That general is toast, and he's doing a heroic charge into the archers of the enemy, the horse archers. But that's going to be it for Pontus's general. And that's pretty much it for his army. And now they're just kind of making this desperate last stand. Nice little column charge. Try to get around the defenses of the spears. They're going to get countercharged. There's Pontic Swordsmen who are pulled from this fight. And unfortunately, it's all up to these spears to hold back Cimeria. But I'm sure they're going to break here pretty quick once this unit flanks around. And let's not forget the great flood that is going to come crashing through these streets. And the defenses, the defensive positions have been compromised. And they are not going to be able to hold back the Gorilla Boys. And the Gorilla Boys, it's safe to say that they will go through the grouping undefeated. And we will see their points here coming up pretty soon. Near the end of this video, once we look at the battle results. A great job here. Great fight. Great, a valiant effort. They definitely did a way better, Wolfgang did a way better job fighting the um, the Gorilla Boys than we did. I will say their factions were probably a little bit better than ours. But nonetheless, I think they had better tactics and they did a great job. Uh, but unfortunately, even though they might have lost more in style or with a better fight, Unfortunately, they end up with the same results of us, which is zero points and two defeats. There we go. They're just finishing up the last of Pergamon. They're going to the town center to go capture it for extra security. But yeah, this one is over. We can go ahead and fast forward. 
So that was a great fight, great matchup. And no, if you guys are wondering, like, why is there so many Gorilla Boys? They just played all of their matches really quickly. So you're going to start to see other, other teams here. Let's go ahead and end the replay. Look at the results. Here are the Gorilla Boys on the top. Both doing a great job. No surprise that Hyena here, um, he got the most kills. His faction was superior than his allies. But GG to Wolfgang. They they put up a, a great fight, valiant effort. It was fairly close there for a long time, but it just they just couldn't get it. Just too many, too many men, too many forces that the uh, the Gorilla Boys had. So that's gonna wrap it up for this battle. But before we end it, let's look at the current standings of Group C. Okay, so currently as it stands, the Gorilla Boys are in the lead. Most likely will take first place. They have a whopping 32 points from those victories now they get a plus two points i don't know i guess you get like extra bonus points uh oh you know what you get an extra two bonus points when you've completed all of all of your matches that's basically an incentive to for all teams to finish out you know and not give up get those bonus two points so they finished with 32 points eight wins zero defeats and now currently in second place we have ursas or bears in latin and they have played four matches they have a total of eight points they've won two and they've lost two in third place currently we have the crimson chickens who have played four matches they have um five points that's my team they've won two and they've lost two and then Below Crimson Chickens, in the fourth place, we have Winged Wimsars. They played four matches. They have zero points. They've lost all of their matches. And then we have Wolfgang that has four points. Oh, I'm sorry. They played four. I'm sorry. They played four games, zero, zero points. They've lost all four. So it's. I think it's going to come down. Again, it really just depends on how many. It's, it's a point system, not a win-loss system. So Wolfgang can still make it to second place. They just got to pull off some crazy victories with really crappy factions. So it, it is possible. But as of right now, it looks like our biggest, as of right now, our biggest competitor is probably your sauce. Um, but of course, we got to win. We basically have to win every match. That's the goal. Win every match here on out to make second place. That is the goal. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up uh, for today. Uh, look out for more battles. I might be covering some other battles in different groups um, just to help get the replays out there. Uh, so look forward to that. We're going to see some different teams out there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.